So I want to talk about this, and I would definitely imagine that many other people are in this position where they are selling this as an investment opportunity, uh, and they bought all these card games. Now, I'm positive this guy, there's no way in hell he plays Fab, Sorcery, and Meta Zoo. I don't think there's a single human being who plays all of those games. I don't think there's a single human being who has all of these games. And back to my answer here, if they did, if there was a single human being who actually played all five games, uh, then why is all his products sealed? That doesn't seem like a normal player. This is an investor who got wrecked. This is a alpha investment Timmy. Now you might ask, how do you know this is a Timmy from Alpha Investments? How do I know that? Very simple. I look at the boxes he has. I look at the boxes I have. Because I'm an absolute Timmy too for buying from the largest Timmies on the Alpha Investment Patreon. They're identical in magic. Then I look at MetaZoo. How many people were selling MetaZoo? Outside of Argos Anonymous and maybe the website for pre-orders. But the pre-orders you probably never got anyway, so you're good there, so that's not you. And how many people were selling Meta Zoo, Fab, and Sorcery online? If you go to a game store right now, I can go to my local game store right now. I bet you they have Pokemon, and I bet you they have Magic, but I do not bet you that they have Meta Zoo. I do not bet you they have Flesh and Blood. I do not bet you they have Sorcery. If you go to most game stores in America, it is very likely that they have Pokemon and Magic. It is very unlikely they have those other free games. Now, maybe they have one of the free games, but it is incredibly unlikely they have all three of the games because that's not how game stores work. This is how I, I've identified him as a Alpha Investment Timmy because he purchased all these games where he doesn't really know very much about them. Right, he's purchasing them as an investment and look at the email. He's saying he wants to sell these games to fund his down payment for his home. I'm sorry to tell this Timmy this. No one is going to buy your Meta Zoo. No one's going to buy your Flesh and Blood. To find a singular person, like I'm talking about one person who plays all five of these games is crazy bad. Uh, the reason that it is so crazy bad it should be obvious. One of the games is dying. The other two games, not many people know much about. People say, oh, it's really the same thing they said about Meta Zoo. They are saying, uh, you know, the same positive things that they are saying about Meta Zoo. They are saying about uh, Flesh and Blood and, and Sorcery. Now, I don't know if those two games will survive. I don't know how I think they're doing well. And good for them, but they're not Magic the Gathering and they're not Pokemon. And no matter how much you push the narrative that Meta Zoo is not Pokemon, it's, oh, it's Pokemon, get in, early Pokemon, you are not going to uh, be able to convince at least me that they're the same thing. Same with, uh, same with the Flesh and Blood and Magic. You know, I think the largest fa uh, flesh and blood content creator is has. I'm lo let me check, three thousand eight eight hundred and twenty subscribers. Dude, my dog channel gets is at seventeen thousand six hundred subscribers, and that's only five shorts a day. Now it's become a baby channel, so okay, give it that right. There are. You just cannot grow the same way. Like, look how big the largest Pokemon trading uh, channels are. Look how big the largest uh, Magic the Gathering channels are. You cannot tell me this is even remotely in the same stratosphere in terms of social media. And people want to flex, you know. And but when they nobody to flex to, what are you gonna do, man? And what what are you gonna do? It's just not going to work. It's not gonna work, guys. So, based on all this, my main takeaway is, yeah, if you bought MetaZoo, think, or Flesh and Blood, or Sorcery, or even Magic and Pokemon, but especially if you bought all five of them, and some dude online told you it's an investment opportunity, 
and you come go tum, come to me, go F yourself. No one wants that shit. No one wants your shit, man. No one is going to give you a payment for a down deposit on a home for mother effing meta zoo cards. There's not one dude on this planet, no matter, go, go take him to Argos Anonymous. He was pumping and dumping this shit on you like it was uh, candy on trick-or-treat day. If you think that this stuff is so valuable and so amazing, you go sell it to that the dude's telling you this. They ain't going to buy. When's the last time Argos Anonymous bought somebody's collection and did a collection video? Very odd that he doesn't do that. When is the last time Rudy at Alpha Investment has bought a MetaZoo collection and shown it off? I can think of a lot of uh, collections in Magic the Gathering he's done so, right? Very proudly showing off his Magic the Gathering cards. But I can't think of a single time, a single time he bought anyone, any Patreon, any, anyone, MetaZoo collection. Prove me wrong. If he you bought your MetaZoo collection, show evidence of it and prove me wrong. Because I'm under the impression that he didn't buy that shit because he's too smart for that. So the whole deleting the videos and, you know, being ashamed and getting fret. Like, I get frets all the time on my other channel. It's just part of YouTube, right? It's part. He understands this, too. He, he gets it, too. He sold you. You thought you were going to pay your mother effing home from this, didn't you? You did because you're writing me emails. This is not Omi Timmy. He's writing me emails. I just don't have the time to screenshot all the Timmies because there's so many mother effing Timmies out there. And, and, you know, I want to show the, the, the video this. He showed you a dream that this was some type of investment asset and everyone's going to be rich and wealthy and, and uh, you know, everyone's going to be that. Um, everyone's going to make money from this. You, you, you just invest with me, buddy, and you're going to have a down deposit to your. I mean, think about what this money effort is saying. He wants to sell a bunch of trash. It is trash. I can I can open it to you, but then I don't want to offend them. It is literal garbage. Even the magic products are garbage, right? War of the Spark. Oh, it's $110 now on sale. Um, we are talking about literal garbage being trying to sell. So, literal poo. I came up with the term meta poo. Even the meta zoo community has uh, recognized that. That was my term for this game, like, three years ago. And now everyone calls it Metapoo, so I would like to trademark the, the game Metapoo because I came up with that. Very clever. You know, if, if you understand what's happening on my other channel, I just don't got the time or the bandwidth to really... If I really wanted to crunch down on this, I mean, like, really want to crunch down on this Alpha Investment guy, I totally could. Because there's so many things in that video which... I think about and I say, uh, that's not true. Oh, that's not true. Oh, that's definitely not true. I mean, the dude literally thought he was going to pay off his home, at least the for, down deposit for a home on fucking MetaZoo. Are you kidding me right now? Like, like you kidding me? And I can show you email after email where these idiots are trying to sell their MetaZoo cards for f 10 times what they go for. Yikes.